and welcome to the beginning of Vlogmas 2016. I almost did a very understated entrance then. I didn't want to do that. I've got me a Christmas tea, winter spice tea by Tea Pigs in my anthropology mug. That smells like Christmas. It's delicious. It's too hot for me to take now. I can't even pretend. So Vlogmas is going to work thusly this year. So I'm going to be doing a video every day all the way up until the 24th of November. My glasses are filthy. Do you want my t-shirt? It's got a little Chris, Mickey and Minnie coming out of a present. There's something else on it as well. Um, I'm going to be doing a video a day all the way through December. Um, so it's going to work that I'll be doing like bookish videos and things like that um, during the week. And then on a Sunday, it will be a vlog of the week that I have had. So Sunday will be a vlog from today, tomorrow and Saturday. Next Sunday will be a vlog from Sunday to the Saturday etc etc so there'll be some vlogging a bloody hope some book videos some not book videos some christmas videos and there's going to be a, a video every day i've got some gift guides coming up i've got all sorts coming up david's going to be in a video um it's just going to be wonderful so that is the vlogmas plan today is my november favorites um which i always do on the first of the month so i'm going to kick straight off with this is weird my favorite film for the month. Now, we haven't watched one film this whole month apart from the same film that I had watched last November. That film is This Christmas. So <laughs> this is uh, a wonderful proper cheese fest um, film about a family who all of their kids are coming home for Christmas and they're all bringing back different sort of backstories and things like that. Idris Elba's in it. I wouldn't even need to say any more, do I? Idris Elba's in it. Um, and he plays the saxophone, so <laughs> it's all, he's got all the sexiness going on. Yeah, it's proper cheesy, very festive, like some really bad, like, cheesy jokes, but David and I absolutely love it. We watched it, we watched, like, one of his treats was that he was allowed to watch this whatever time during the year he wanted, um, and we watched it at the weekend. So that's the only film that we've watched in the whole of November, however, very, very good. The um, TV programme that I've been very much enjoying, and I've only watched one episode of it, and this is how strongly I feel about it. We've got them all on, um, on Sky, like Sky or whatever, Sky Plus? Yeah. Um, is Planet Earth 2. So we saw the mountainside edition of Planet Earth 2, which is a similar, um, like, a wildlife programme, and it's just amazing. Um, and, like, the... the <sighs> The wonderful shots they get of this of, of of wildlife is just amazing and you just see things that you would never ever see on other wildlife programs and we just absolutely loved it we've got them all backed up um and we're gonna have a nice lazy day god knows when because we're busy like literally every day between now and christmas um and um and watch them all but that has been my number one tv viewing this month although i've just realized i've been really liking i'm a celebrity get me out of it i'm a celebrity get me out of it it's a program i don't think they've got it in the us where they send like like 10 celebrities they're pretty like low low down celebrities um out into the jungle in australia and they have to like eat rank things and sit in pools of like they have to do like challenges and stuff like that it's very enjoyable to watch and the group that they've had in this year have been such lovely people so it's been a joy to watch um my favorite book for the month no um my favorite book for the month the year my lifetime has been Rebecca by Daphne du Maurier. This has been amazing. So I knew it was going to be good. I knew it was going to be good. I hadn't, I didn't go straight into Rebecca. I read um, Frenchman's Creek and Jamaica Inn first and loved both of them, gave both of those five stars. And actually when going to Rebecca, I was feeling like a bit, I don't want to say snobbish, but I was like, oh, I hope my favourite's not Rebecca because everyone's favourite is Rebecca. My favourite is Rebecca. This book is amazing. I had no idea of the plot of it at all when I went into it. So this, everything that was in it was a complete surprise to me. It was amazing. It told the story of um, a young lady <clears throat> who meets her husband when she's working as a, um, a companion to an old lady. This is like right at the beginning and she meets some hunky young man whose wife has died the year before and she ends up marrying him. Um, when she gets back to the estate that they live in, Mandalay, um, she realises that like the, there's, a, there's a, a, a lady's maid there who was like pretty much in love with Rebecca, the wife who died. Um, and then she begins to realise that everything's not quite as it seems. And it's just so moody and um, like there's really creepy parts, there's really like sensual parts. The description is unlike any description I've ever read in my entire life. It absolutely blew me away. I cannot 
rave about this enough. I can't stop. <laughs> I can't stop telling people to read it. It really as and also to be seen as a classic. This was not hard to read. So like I enjoy reading classics. I enjoy reading like Pride and Prejudice, Jane Eyre, Wuthering Heights. Wuthering Heights is one of my favourite books. But they do take a certain amount of processing for me. This took no processing. This I was just like eating it up. It was amazing and I cannot cannot recommend it enough. Mercedes and Simon are going to be delighted because they both, Mercedes knows how much I love it, but they were both like, oh, I really hope you like it. I adored it. And when I talk about it, I can't not smile because it was just amazing. Like really, really amazing. So that has been my favourite book of the month, the year, my life. This is my new favourite book. I adore it. It's absolutely amazing. So the next thing I want to talk about is a, um, a, a planner that I bought in um, a shop called Stradivarius, um, which is in, I've never seen another one apart from the one that is in um, Stratford, what's that, oh, Westfield in East London, got a massive shopping centre there. Um, this is a monthly planner and it's all blank inside, so you fill out, what have I just dropped out of there? You fill out um, monthly, so I'm using it for my scheduling my YouTube videos, so it's been perfect, don't look, because that's a surprise of what will be coming up in Vlogmas. <laughs> um, so I've been using it and putting in my dates and things like that and what I'm going to be doing, and then this is what I'm going to use to schedule for next year as well, so it's been really helpful. And then the back section is notes, uh, is ideas as well, so I've been putting like, so for instance, when I did my Harry Potter q and I wrote all the notes in there, and then I write notes throughout the, uh, throughout the month, like for instance, my favourites, which is going to be very handy, because now, not only have I incorporated this planner, I can now look... There's a car outside. I can now look down to see what my next favourite was. So while I was um, in East London buying this, I was also visiting my friend Dolores, who I used to go um, to, who I used to live with at university. We went to a um, cafe called All You Read Is Love, um, which is Scandinavian. It's a bookshop come cafe, and it sells like, Scandinavian food. It was amazing. So I had a Norwegian cheese um, sandwich, which was like an open sandwich on two cheese scones with um, homemade raspberry jam and like cheese and jam. Who would have thought? It was amazing, it was so delicious. David had a coronation, like coronation egg salad um, on an open sandwich. It was just amazing and all the plates were like Scandinavian um, scenes and Scandinavian maps and they've got books in there. They've got new books, secondhand books, they run a bookshop in there. It was amazing, I really, really loved it. If I can find a link to a website or a Facebook page or something, I will link that down below because I definitely want to go back there again, it was amazing. Excuse me, sippy, jo sippy time. Something else I want to talk about, my favourite thing that I've done this month, um, is our podcast, Mine and Mercedes. Oh, that's nice. It's like um, Red Bush, that tea. Um, Mercedes and I have started our podcast. The second edition is out today. It's the Christmas edition. I will link both um, down below. So Mercedes and I have started a bookish podcast where we discuss all things books. Um, it's very casual. It's basically just like me and Mercedes chatting for an hour over Skype. Um, and so our first edition was just about like us talking and things we've got, in, books we got in common. And we spoke a lot about Daphne du Maurier the um, episode edition the episode we've just recorded as a Christmas episode so that is we're very excited about that and then January we're going to be talking about sort of reading resolutions and um, books that we're looking forward to in the year so really enjoyed doing my podcast and I hope you lot have been enjoying that too what else so just before I get into sort of like birthday related things another thing I've been enjoying are seasonal lip balms so i've got here maybelline baby lips pumpkin spice this is lovely but it is colored like it's tinted so i thought it wasn't and i'd really saw lips when i was at center parks and i was like uh, just winding it around my lips and yeah it was um it's quite orangey orange tinted so that was nice but that it smells amazing actually you know when you put wear something for a long time and then you put it on again and it smells like that it smells like when i went to center parks i've also got some burt bees ones i've got a ginger spice one here yo I'll tell you what i want what i really really want not that sort of ginger spice and i've also got a peppermint one which i can't find anywhere but seasonal lip balms i'm all up for it but i have got a hole in the lining of my coat and they keep slipping down into the lining so i'm like some sort of lip balm smuggler um, that is not intended i'm an unintentional lip balm smuggler um and so i'll get into my birthday so it was my 30th birthday this month on the 27th of november and i had such an amazing time i'm going to be filming a birthday bookish haul so all of my presents that i got that were bookish i will be filming that and that will be appearing soon um i had an amazing time date like my friends my family David, David's family, like everyone spoiled me incredibly and I'm so grateful for how wonderful my birthday was. It was made amazing. David took me to Centre Parks for a week, um, which is a sort of like 
cabin village with lots of swimming and we went to a spa and we did um, badminton and crazy golf and pottery and we just had an amazing relaxed time which was lovely. He also on my birthday took me to a nature reserve um, which is in our Christmas tree uh, vlog day that we did. I will link that down below as well because it was just absolutely beautiful. Just like vast beautiful scenery wonderful birdies in a little log cabin in a little shepherd's hut with a log burning stove it was just amazing um and yeah i'm just such a such a lucky girl that i got all of those wonderful christmas uh, birthday things and now it's christmas so one lot of treats is over next lot of treats the last thing i wanted to show you was just something that i trapped myself to i've left it over here I bought myself a Joe Malone perfume. So Joe Malone perfumes are really expensive, but I'd wanted one for a while and I was like, I'm turning 30, I want to treat myself to something. So I ended up treating myself to red roses. So I went into, oh my God, it smells amazing. I'm gonna put some on now. Um, I went into um, Joe Malone shop in Spitalfields and the guy in there was so helpful and so wonderful. I couldn't pick between three and he was like, ended up giving me a hand massage and letting me try everything. Gave me like lots of samples and things. And I ended up buying this one, Red Roses. I love rose scented stuff. I'm absolutely mad on it. So that was my last little birthday treat to myself. So those were my favorites for the month of November. November has been an awesome month. It's been really, really good. Not only has it been my birthday, it's just been like, I've, I've done some really good reading. I've read some of the best things I've read ever. Um, and it's just been like getting hyped for Christmas and stuff and just spending time with friends and family and things like that. It's just been amazing. So I've had a really, really good November. How have your Novembers been? What favorite things have you been up to? I feel like I'm eating that perfume a bit now because I've sprayed it and it's like a bit there. Let me have a mouthful of this. Yeah, and I'll see you for the rest of the month for Vlogmas once a day up until the 24th of November. Lucky you. See you soon. Bye.